All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. started for the second half it was an even first half all tied on the scoreboard and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. here's the browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter it's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Despite some fast footwork, he's still wrangled down shy of the 15. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Jedrick Wills, former first-round pick, guilty there. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. They're going to look to throw. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big time play right there. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Firing quickly here and that's complete. They'll contain him to just four, second down. When you see zone defense and you know you got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second and six. They'll look to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Let's go, boys. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game and there he picks up another first down whatever they saw going into this one they've been able to capitalize on it and no adjustment has been made to take it away From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 58 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot. Picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. And now here's a carry heading left. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And I'll tell you what, this offensive game, keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possess the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Now Parkey for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's capped off by the Browns' touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. On first down, Little. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Get in there. Get in there. 
Elway. Looking sideline incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the gun, it's Elway. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And that's caught inside the 35. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A huge play there for Denver. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And that might be just what they needed to get back in this game. Sometimes you need a big play to shake things up, get a little life in your sideline, get everyone believing again, and they got it there in a big way. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Play action. It's Elway. That's complete to Sharp. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. That's a staple of this offense. Drag round to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Out of the gun, Elway. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now, there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. At first glance, I wasn't sure he got it. Then I saw that spot. Definitely a first down. It was, but boy, on the other side, you disputed a little bit, wouldn't you? Okay, if you're playing defense, are you sure he got there? But that's why they tell you all the time. Don't just get what you need. Get a little bit more and take the decision out of the hands of the officials. Oh, there he needed a yard. He got a yard and maybe an inch. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. decision to make on the conversion down seven but first things first they need to score as they come up on first and goal they'll try to run for it with Davis and he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown a six yard touchdown run and the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Point after here coming up. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run of six yards.
couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. It is fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. here on first down throwing right and that's complete and they work this well up field across the 45 and partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter you and I both know in the NFL that's when you lean on your stars and he came through with a nice catch right there A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Back to throw. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I often wonder why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. He'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. He'll look to throw. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense, and that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Browns on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five at this point. This will be third and a mile. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well sure. It's fourth down. Brandon, it certainly looked like they had that play defended well, but it still almost worked. Got it to the running back. He wound up getting really good yardage out of it. But it was third and long, and they were able to rally and stop it before he could get to the marker. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he's on to punt for Cleveland. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. Denver's offense ready to go again. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity, all tied in the fourth quarter. a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Elway. 
Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. 59, And he'll give it here to his running back. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Broncos on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and five. Now Elway to throw. That's caught by Jackson. And he is finally out of bounds, but not before taking it down inside the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position, and that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and so just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Elway. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. You and I watched film yesterday. He told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. Looking for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Oh, he left that one in a bad spot, but fortunately it's just an incompletion and not picked to bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And this one is right through. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taking it about the one. And he gets it to the 30-yard line, but the football's not going to stay there. There's a penalty marker down. So that will push him back. And now we know why he has extra space to run, don't we? An illegal block in the back, that penalty will move them back. down he'll drop to throw it complete to Newsom and he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six nice rhythm throw there on first down he located his tight end made it a nice easy pitch and catch hoping he can break a tackle or two wasn't able to do that there but still good yardage three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth Start. 
So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It's Chris Harris with a pick. And the Broncos have just about sewn up this football game. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it. And that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill. The offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do, but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball, and that they did. And Denver getting set to take the field. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Here's Davis. He'll try and run some clock. And some room to work. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And they'll try the jet sweep here. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Now it's Elway. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Who went with the dive look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. now as he's on to punt for Denver. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So now the Browns 
down on the scoreboard. And time, a huge factor. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Pass caught by Crowder. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. He's back to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. No time match again. Go quick here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now a handoff as they run left side. And that's not going to help a whole lot. Maybe four yards on first down. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. One final shot. They'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a special